But we're learning the Catholic Diocese of Venice is facing a $5 million lawsuit after being accused of covering up a case of sexual abuse. 74-year-old Robert Little, a former volunteer at St. Francis Xavier Church in Fort Myers, has been accused of sex crimes, and last summer he was convicted of molesting a teenager. Well, the family of that teen now suing the diocese, saying the church dismissed their cries for help and that at least one other family had already come forward about Little in the past. Foreign reporters Gabrielle Saran speaking with the family about what they say happened to their son. Until just last month, Isabel and Sisto Romano built their lives around St. Francis Xavier Church. What was it like for you to break away from the church? That's been very emotional. We've been there our whole life. Isabel, who was baptized at the church, has lost her teaching job there of 16 years. And according to this lawsuit seeking $5 million in damages from the Diocese of Venice, a different family of a now 14-year-old boy molested by Robert Little a former Eucharistic minister and now convicted felon has named the Romano son as another victim of Little's, and it accuses the church of covering it up. All I pray is that other children will come out and speak up if they have been hurt by this man. The Diocese of Venice is responding to these allegations. In a statement, it says the Romano son wasn't abused on church property and that, quote, at no time did the Diocese of Venice or the parish receive any complaint of an assault by Little as alleged in the complaint. This despite the Romano's claim that they reported the incident to the diocese three years ago. We were told that they were going to take care of the issue and that things, that things would be sent and told to the diocese. I spoke to the attorney representing the case Little was convicted of by phone. That the diocese failed to take any action to prevent him from harming her son. If only the Romanos say Little had been removed from church grounds sooner. Had you seen Mr. Little around the campus? Yes. And what did you think when you'd see him? How could he be around? How could anybody let him around? Near children again was beyond me. Gabrielle Saran, Fox 4, in your corner. Again, Little has been convicted of the most recent case and is serving just shy of one year in prison. The diocese also allowed him to live on church property near the school even after he was convicted, eventually kicking him out after a public outcry. Now, we have a full statement from the diocese as well as the lawsuit itself, what's laid out in there on our website. And while you're there, you can let us know what you think about this when you go to fox4now.com and click on this story.